Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Scorpio. So we have friendships. We have the unseen. Rare gift. And we have the past. Clarify friendships. Pink diamond. Mm. A rare opportunity to find a one of a kind of love, wealth, and prosperity, attracting new friends. Hmm. I feel like you guys are going to be attracting people into your life. And like your circle is only going to consist of people that value you. Okay. So we have the unseen. We have hot mess. I really feel like there was some weird shit going on in regards to like maybe a friend was talk doing something behind your back, talking behind your back. Something shady was going on here. What rare gift we have the moon yeah there was something hidden here like something was actually like a blessing in disguise or something like that same with the past teamwork so somebody's maybe returning from your past wanting to team up with you there could be a friend or somebody that like there could be a friend or, or somebody that you had like a more of like a friendship type relationship with that is seeing you as like a one of a kind opportunity or one of one of, they, they won't find another you. It could be a friend. It could be a romantic, somebody that you were like maybe never were in like a full blown commitment with, but like maybe you guys are friends with benefits or whatever. It was more of like a situation ship. There's something going on here. So what does that do with friendships though? Give me more clarity on this friendship aspect or maybe like somebody is releasing toxic friends. Tell me more. Yeah, events taking place in the future. Inner knowing, occult, and esoteric knowledge. Stepping into your spiritual power. Okay. Knowing about what? Contracts. Legal matters, agreement between two parties, making something official. So somebody that was like, you were just friends. Yeah, why is somebody mad? Why is somebody mad here? Um, a masculine energy is mad or you feel like this masculine energy wronged you? Why? Rebuilding. Rebuilding your life after loss. Somebody did you dirty here. Some type of masculine energy did you dirty, and now you've been rebuilding your life ever since then. What is what about this masculine though? Thorns. And we have finances. Somebody, this masculine energy is willing to sacrifice some type of money or finances. Like they're about to sacrifice something and it had maybe has something to do with finances. For why? <laughs> For why? Yeah, something's coming to an end. So what does this mean for this masculine? What about this masculine energy? They, of course. What, give me one more card on... Um, There's some type of union that's been delayed. That's been coming through a lot. What about friendships, though? Coldness. See, somebody's, like, distancing themselves from somebody else and getting closer to the one they feel is, like, the, best, the good opportunity. Like, somebody's distancing themselves or somebody trying to just be friends with you or something like that. Yeah, it's like... Somebody that tried to make it seem like they didn't have deep feelings and emotions for you or that you guys were just friends is now maybe about to reach out to you and tell you that they love you. <laughs> Somebody's maybe about to tell you that they do have romantic feelings and emotions for you, but this is somebody that's going through some type of like, something to do with finances, financial sacrifice. <sighs> this is somebody that wants to marry you or they want something long-term with you. This could be somebody that's getting a divorce. So what does this, what does that do with you? Divine timing and brick wall. So there was a need to release a person. 444 on the camera. There was a need to release somebody because it wasn't the right time for something to occur. Yeah. And like the divine was guiding you to release this. They were actually protecting you from something because somebody had a hot mess situation going on. And I don't think you were aware of it. You were maybe aware of it a little bit, but not the full extent of what was going on. So I feel like you actually, it was actually divine protection. What, so what else, what were they being protected from? We have learning. Yeah. Discovering a truth up in the air. You guys could have found out that somebody was still trying to make up their mind about you or let's see, or somebody's been trying to figure out you know, some type of information to make a decision here. See, something was hidden. What was hidden here? Children, somebody was, I hope somebody wasn't hiding a child, but somebody could have been, somebody literally could have been hiding children or hiding a family. What is this? Children in love offer? What's the do with you? Somebody feels like you're the one that they want to start a family with. 
But why is the hidden here? Maybe they're hiding that they want, they're hiding their, their intention that they want this with you. Yeah, somebody has been like kind of moving in silence, wanting another chance with you. Yeah, right as I'm confirmation, moving in silence. So somebody's been moving in silence. They feel very drawn to you. They want to take things to the next level with you. They feel like you're the one that they want to have a family with, but they're not telling you this. Why are they, why haven't they been telling? I think you're about to hear it from them though with good news. Why have they been keeping this a secret? Soulmates, why have they been keeping this a secret? Because they're, yeah. Chaos, difficult experiences, heavy burdens, testers, strength, unpredictable. They're, they're afraid of what will happen if they come and tell this to you, but it does look like it would be positive. Yeah. It may be like chaotic at first, but it's actually going to lead to some type of positive changes and abundance here. Answers about what? You're going to realize that something definitely did work. What you thought didn't work out for you actually did work out for you type thing here. Taking a leap of faith in what? Taking a leap of faith in doing what? They're letting go of something that's toxic. Friends, a girl, like a significant other. Somebody's releasing somebody that is toxic. Give me one more. Owl. And they've been learning some type of difficult lesson with that person. What about lightning? Self-image. Focus on what you can change. This person is regretting ghosting you or disappearing on you or rejecting you. Or they, they regret stop. Like when they stop talking to you, they regret it. But I'm telling you, you've been being protected. You've been, been being isolated from this person while they got something going on. But it's not over between you and this person. I do feel like it was important for you to like spend some time single. Or you have been spending some time single and you guys have definitely been apart from this person. Uh, this person's been reaping karma. They, it's like you've been being protected from this person's karma. What are they getting karma for, spirit? What is this person getting karma for? Clean up. Sweeping away negative situations. Cleaning up your life. Decluttering your mind. Simplifying your life. Clean up. Clean up. In between worlds. So this is somebody that they needed to clean up their life. So spirit, they, that's what, what everything that they've been going through is to try to push them towards cleaning up their life, decluttering their circle of people, moving into the next phase of their life. And this was maybe the only way that they were going to be. Yeah, look at this third party. What about third party surviving? See, they were holding on to somebody for the wrong reasons. That's why they're getting karma. Hold on to somebody else for the wrong reasons. Also, somehow getting involved with you. They try to keep you in the friend zone or there's a friend, but this could be like a friend. This could be their friends with benefits or somebody that they're not like totally together with. But tell me more about friendships. Fragmented. Too many things going on at once. Having too many options. Ooh, yeah. This person does not like commitment. With friendships. Deep thinking. Friendships. Boundaries. Yeah, this person was trying to be friends with benefits with you or something like that. When you actually are an empress or an emperor. Or you're like, you're a rarity, okay? And this person was trying to treat you like a friends of benefits or a side chick, a side dude or whatever. Because they weren't wanting to leave this other person. Because they were afraid of having to live paycheck to paycheck or having to overwork themselves or not having that, not, not having enough resources or whatever. That's the only reason that they've been like in this transitional. Like they haven't even, they're not even all the way in in this other situation, obviously. They're like one foot in, one foot out the door. And the only reason that they have one foot in the door still is because of money. And it's not, it's a toxic situation. So what does this mean for my collective? What does this mean for my collective? Ooh, we have the devil. What about the devil? We have the wheel and karmic justice. I'm telling you, this person has been going through karma. Yeah, fate, yeah a turning point. Things working out in your favor. Bad, big changes are coming. What about the devil though? Dating, the devil and dating isolation being open to love seeing somebody specific going on more dates feeling good and flirting what's up with the devil though happiness reconciliation but are they still in this devil energy though this person had like a sex addiction or something mountain yeah they have some type of sex addiction something to do with lust yeah that's been coming through a lot in the readings i don't know this person has a sex a sex addiction sex addiction that was a blockage as well I really hope that that's not what their money was going to, okay? I'm just going to say that. I really hope that that's not why they were broke, okay? But it definitely could be, um, you know, was going to fueling an addiction, okay? So, why are these cards right here? Give me a second. 
Let's get some tarot. Somebody feels like they're not, that you're a rare, like they're not going to find another you and that they need to hurry up and seize an opportunity with you. They had a karmic contract with this other person. King of Swords reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Seven of Cups. The Three of Wands in reverse. The Five of Cups. Same about the King of Swords in reverse. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. Like they couldn't see that something was a missed offer or would be a missed opportunity or hmm some of the seven of cups in reverse judgment yeah they're real they're waking up to something here three of wands in reverse the page of wands in reverse they're they're realizing that the only obstacle was like their own like self-esteem issues or them being immature or a laziness or something like that they're in regret. Yeah, because they're getting this karma. I'm telling you, this is somebody that's been reaping karma. And I feel like spirit pushed, you know, moved you out of the way so this person could get their karma. Yep. You got moved out of the way so that they can get their karma. And you, you've been being also protected. You've been being protected from it. Tell me more about what this person did and why they're... Tell me about the King of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Wands in reverse. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries Leo Sag energy. Yeah. What's to do with you? The three, yeah, this person put you in a third party situation. Yeah, they put you in a third party situation and they, they went right into a cycle of bad karma. I'm telling you, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, that's bad karma city, okay? Yeah, this person chose some, they were holding on to somebody here. This person was not valuing you. What is this Queen of Wands reverse? Or they were holding on to somebody. They have a new outlook that would. King of Cups in reverse and the Emperor. What was the Emperor? The Death in reverse. They're realizing that they don't want something to end. I'll talk no action. Page of swords right where's the moon? Yes, you gotta have boundaries with this part. Yeah, leaving an abusive. They're trying to, they're releasing the fear to leave a situation. What does uh, my collective need to know about this spirit? Anything else my collective needs to know? The sun in reverse, Leo energy. What, I, we have Scorpio. I don't know if I said all the signs. We have Libra. We have Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Pis um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have pretty much everything out here. We don't have a whole lot of water, though. I don't really... We did have the King of Cups in reverse, so yeah. Um, we have the Star in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles. They're trying to work on their finances, and that's causing a delay as well. Yeah. Ace of Swords. Somebody is very clear that it's dawned on them. They're, they they know what they want. They've learned their lesson. Or they're very close to closing out a karmic cycle and moving away from that. So what's that mean for you guys? Now they want to invest in you. Yeah, now they want something. Like, yeah, they, they didn't I say? I don't know if I said this or not. I thought I did, but they think you're the Empress or the Emperor. They feel like they want to invest in you. Taurus energy. But why is the magician in reverse? It's like this person's realizing that they couldn't see who you were. I can't, this energy has been cool, coming out for months. Why? Why couldn't they see it? The Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands in reverse. This person's always known your worth, guys. They've always known your worth. They've always had feelings for you. This person just wanted to be a freaking whore. I'm just gonna be, they, wanted to, they wanted to be a hoe. Okay, that's all I can say. Yeah, this person wanted to um, have you and they wanted to have other people too. Okay, they, they, it's like they weren't valuing you. I don't know. This, it's like they, they, they knew you were, they were, you were valuable. They knew they had feelings for you, but 
they wanted to sleep around or they wanted to they have a lack of self-control they very well may have they have like some type of addiction here it's like and it looks like it's a set all right i'm done the devil yes they have an addiction The devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. They're wanting to try to overcome this addiction now, though. With the devil in reverse, they're wanting to conquer this addiction. For some of you, this was ego. I'm going to tell you that it, it was that, too. It was also them be having the ego, them wanting to sleep around. Yes. I think it's something about you being so independent and having your life all together and being the nine of pentacles hurts this person's ego. They were having a hard time leaving behind some type of toxic third party. Like it's, it, And I just feel like it's more than that, though. This person has like an addiction. They may have a third party, but they were cheating on that third party, too. Or like they have an open relationship with that third party. And then they was also trying to have you, too. Like this is why they're getting bad karma. Because they knew that you, you, they always known that you deserved much better than this. And they still did this to you. So that's why they're getting bad karma. Um, let's see. Where is that deck that I want to use? I stay losing decks, I promise you. Oh, um, well, there it is. They wanted to be a player. So you about to hear from them though. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. We have slipped away. See, there's something about you and this person never being like full blown, like actually together. I don't know if you were friends with benefits with this person or if they just tried to friend i don't know what they did try to put you in a situation should they definitely try to put you in a third party situation but it says though they never had you to them you will always be the one that got away they regret the chances they didn't take love is a fire you set their heart on fire and the soul ever burning and unquenchable it's a natural and undeniable connection we have the gods favor you now is the time your prayers have been heard you will succeed and be vindicated you don't get to, you know, this person was very intentional, you know, with how they, when they hurt, like with what they did, they knew exactly what they were doing when they did this to you and they did this to the third party and they did this to these other people that they were messing around with. And when you do that to people, especially people that you know have good intentions for you and that love you, you don't get away with that. Karma will bite you in the ass. And that's what happened to this person. But it says you left a permanent mark on their heart that can't be erased. Even if they tried, you will always be remembered. We have brewing up. Be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. And we have discovery. They saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feeling powerless and trapped. And what was that? Fairy tale? What, what was it that made their healing and release? Oh, when they then when they let you go or you walked away from them, it says they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. Didn't I say somebody wants you back, but they're not saying anything? They feel your absence heavily. They think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them you are too perfect to believe it's true. Mm, they sabotage this. They're at the I told you that they're end of they're at the end of a cycle here. Karmic, they've been going through karma. They may be at the end of receiving their karma. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance and the connection. This person has a lot of emotion for you. And we have marriage again. Their heart is or overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. They see you as marriage material. Someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. And look at this. Didn't I say that they have, the de have to declutter their circle? There was something about their circle that was making them not see how rare or how good of an opportunity you were. I don't know. But it says, or that's just they're used to toxicity. Their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Mm. One more. 
we have exhausted. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. Give me one more. And then we have choices. There is a choice they have to make, and they know time is not on their side, and we're losing you forever if they don't. Talking about exhaustion, leap of faith. So this person still has a lot of shit. They still got a lot of issues, right? Um, they still got a lot of healing work, but this person doesn't feel they can stay away from you any longer. But just know that this person is coming towards you with baggage. They're not coming towards you 100%. You know, nobody's ever 100% healed, right? But just know that this person's coming towards you. It's almost like because they feel like you're holding back from them just as much as they hold back from you. You're not coming in. Um, you're not extending the olive branch. They feel like they have to, and they feel like you just have been holding out way longer than they wanted you to. Like they feel like they can't stay away from you any longer. So I told you pride is a problem with this person too. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. Th guys, I told you. The player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. Oh, now they don't want to be a player no more. I'm telling you. Now they want to conquer this sex addiction or whatever type of addiction they have. It doesn't have to be just that. It can be drinking. It can be drugs, whatever. They have, and they it's like they have an issue with like wanting multiple people or like being greedy. That's why they're getting karma. Trying to have you and everybody, the other person and everybody else too. And that's just, that's not okay. Unless everybody is in mutual agree like and mutually agreeing that that's okay then no and then like it's just a mess so it's just